Now, water supply to seven districts in Slango and Kuala Lumpur have been disrupted since Saturday due to an oil spill in Sungai Selango. Now, due to this, residents in some affected areas were fuming as they were caught by surprise and left unprepared. The unscheduled water supply disruption started since Saturday after hydraulic liquid spilled into the river, causing the closure of the first, second and third phases of Slango's river water treatment plant. Water supply was to return in stages in affected areas from 8 a.m. today, but checks at Saujana Damansara and Klanajaya earlier showed otherwise. Ini sudah hari hari Isnin, hari Sabtu, Sabtu saya ingat air tak ada lah. Pagi terus pagi terakhir lah. Kita yang pagi bangun tengok sudah air tak ada. Pas pukul 8.30 ada mula kecil sangat. Terus pukul 9 lebih, pukul 10 dah tak ada lah. Sepanjang hari sampai. Malam tadi pun tunggu, uh, sembilan setengah pun tak sampai lagi. Shaba said it has deployed water tankers to the affected areas to assist the residents. However, the residents claimed none had arrived in their areas for the past three days. Okay, to get us an update on the situation, we have with us on the line Shaba's Corporate Communications and Public Affairs General Manager, Priscilla Alfred, to give us an update. Hi, Priscilla. Hi. Okay, so how many of the affected areas already have their water supply fully restored? Um, at the moment, we have three districts that have already resumed uh, their water supply, but most of the areas are actually resuming slowly. Uh, we can say that 90 over percent have actually uh, resumed water supply. Only areas that are high, high-rise high areas, as well as areas that are at the end of our distribution network, it takes a bit longer for the water to actually travel to these areas. So supply will be restored a little later in this area. Okay, just real quick. You mentioned three districts. Uh, can you name those districts? Uh, Hulu Slango, Kuala Slango and Kuala Langat. Okay, thank you. And okay, it was reported in um, my earlier report that mm -hmm. residents in Saujana, Damansara and Klanajaya are claiming that Shabas water tankers were not seen in their areas. Any comment on this? Uh, according to our records, our tankers had been sent to several areas and Saujana, uh, Damansara and Klanajai are one of them. Possibly because our tankers go out, in and out, and they have to return to filling stations to actually fill up their supply before they go back to these areas. So there have been cases where some of the consumers have actually missed the water tankers, uh, pertaining to probably the time that they arrived or so. In such cases, consumers can always inform Shabas, and we will do what we can to assist our consumers. Okay, so one last question. Can you tell us any um, latest updates on the investigations into the spill at Sungai Selangor? Well, at the moment, what we know is that LUAS and the state government are actually investigating the, the actually responsible party for this. But uh, what we were told is that that source has not been identified at the moment. So investigations are still ongoing at present. Okay, thank you, Priscilla. And that was Priscilla Alfred from Shabas.